this place has a wine bar that is just steps from our trailer. So I think that's telling us something. We are staying at the Wine Country RV Resort and we're really enjoying it so far. This is the first RV resort we've been to um, and thanks to our Passport America membership we have been able to stay here while our truck gets fixed. So let's begin. All of the sites here have full hookups, which means electricity, water, and sewer. Inside the main office, they have a general store where they sell souvenirs, but also just little things that you might need, like food, and most importantly, ice cream. Also, close to the main office, they've got a heated pool and a little hot tub. Yes. And so this area is accessible to anyone staying, but just up the hill here, they have an adults only hot tub spa. Oh, we're gonna have to go check that out. Yeah. Just outside of the pool too, in the same building as the store, there are bathrooms with showers, change rooms, etc. So you can come on a cooler day, change in the washrooms, get, have your dip, and then shower right away without having to walk back to your rig in the cold air. And they have laundry facilities too. And the prices aren't that bad. It's $2.75 for a wash or $1.50 to use the dryers. They even have soap, bleach, and softener. They have a little playground area for the kids. They also must be very eco-conscious because they have a ton of solar. I've seen about four big solar banks like these ones. This is the adult hot tub in the spa area. No kids allowed. Well, this looks pretty nice. They also have a fitness room. Do not try this at home, folks. We are trained professionals. They've got some ellipticals, they've got some treadmills. And a bicycle. And some weights. After that workout, I need a drink. And they have another set of showers and restrooms up by the fitness room. Also up here with the fitness room is the clubhouse and they will have organized events from time to time. Currently, I believe, unfortunately, a lot of those are closed right now because of the pandemic. However, we hope they'll be open again and you'll be able to enjoy them when you come. Camping in California can be expensive, but if you have a Passport America membership, you'll save 50% off every campground in their network. Sign up with our code ROAM3 and you'll get at least three months free. Six months if you sign up before June 2022. All right, and this park has 177 sites that are big rig friendly up to 45 feet. They are also nestled in the Paso Robles wine region. So there's tons of opportunity for wine tourism nearby and some other kind of cool, funky little attractions too. Like there's a water park right over here during the summer seasons. And just up the highway is a uh, light exhibit as well called Sensorio. So come on and check out this awesome park. We're really enjoying it. I know that some people don't like the really, you know, close together sites, but you get so many amenities to enjoy while you're here that it doesn't really, like you're not sitting on your site all day anyway, so whatever. Yeah, if you're in the area, we highly recommend this park. And here at Wine Country RV Resort, we've also noticed they like to celebrate wine and they'll have some special events throughout the year to do just that and bring it right to the campground. For example, the weekend that we were just here for, they had a Zinfandel festival and they brought in food trucks and had wine tastings and music and stuff. It looked really, really cool. Sadly, it was all on the Friday night and we got here on the Saturday. <laughs> Where they've got ice and, well, what do they have? <laughs> change in the, in the, um, change in the. We are staying at the RV, no, it, no we're not. All right, also up here with the hoop. And the prices aren't that bad. It's three something. Just wait until the cars go by. Okay. 
Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.